Hello YouTube, welcome back to this so, like, still unnamed prison. I still haven't thought of a good name for this. I mean, it's, it's sort of, it started so tiny, a little little place over here, and now it's just sort of spreading like a crazy thing, but as of yet unnamed, so if you can think of any decent names, let me know, but otherwise, I, unnamed prison. I'm Mercer Ryan, I'm really enjoying this, I hope you guys are too. Uh, last episode, if you remember, we put a ton of foundation down that's still being finished up now. Um, we also had a fire, and it looks like everything hasn't quite been connected up yet, which is a little bit of a shame, but never mind. Uh, but apart from that, also, we've had our new intake of prisoners, and look, we've now got 80 blokes running around. It's, it's getting a little bit crowded, and I have a feeling that our infrastructure is now going to sort of struggle to keep up. You see, look, prisoners and meals are actually beginning to struggle to... To sort of to finish I guess but they have another hour's uh, eating after this yeah they do okay good we're still having a two hour window to eat is definitely worth doing and having normal security after maximum security is also quite a good idea as well I think it gives the longer to the kitchen to prepare but still uh, we've got to be careful that the prisoners don't get too unhappy I mean, at the moment everyone seems that they are 40 prisoners say so they are well treated that's a half half ratio that, I mean, that's pretty cool really isn't it 70 prisoners are suppressed compliant you know what? We will take that. That's not a bad result. Um, we do have. I seem to have still a lack of a lack of utilities. Now I have told it to build this stuff, but I think it has forgotten in the in the grand scale of uh, stuff. Look, look, you can definitely see. I've it's read it out. It's, it's, it says what well, it should know that I've, I've, I've built. I want to build there, but never mind. Um, that'll be finished before you know it. I'm assuming the water won't run out at some point, but you never know. It might do. Um, and then power, electrical cable needs to come through the washing machines, doesn't it, really? So we'll... I, I don't even know where that cabling used to be, to be honest. That's kind of a bit unusual, that. Put it there, should we? Like that? Like that? I don't know where that electrical cable is supposed to be, so we'll just shove it in everywhere. Uh, and fingers crossed that will be enough. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. Um, is that foundation? Ah, oh, the foundation has been completed. Fantastic, right, well let's get some cabling in. If you remember, we're using power plant number two, because power plant number one was a little bit frazzled. Um, actually this one has very little to power, so at the moment this is, we've got plenty, plenty of scope for this one. So we'll build up here, and we'll finish that way. Uh, and then we'll again build up this corridor, and then we'll build down this corridor. One. But now that should be, in theory, plenty. We'll get another cable sort of coming through the kitchen because no doubt they'll need power there. But for now, that's enough cabling. I mean, we've got plenty of our jobs for our workers to be getting on with. I'm kind of a bit sort of, I don't want to give them too many things to do. Uh, this jail door is, is, you know, that should be locked open for now. There we go. Right, you can actually get through it. Good, good, good. Um, and otherwise, I think we need to be telling this to be building the shared cells. Here we go. Uh, let's rotate that there. And have we built it big enough? Yep, there we go. Perfect size. Thank God. If I'd, if I'd mucked that up, that would have been highly annoying. Um, there we go. That should be another 20 cells for now. What we're actually going to do as well is I think if we put a shower in this, in each of these shelves, they can have nice shared showers between them. I think, you know what, I think that'll be absolutely fine. Let's do that. We'll get a uh, shower head and we'll get that rotated like that. Two, three, four, five. And then we'll have drains there as well. Perfect. And then they don't even have to leave their dormitories to have a shower. That's, I mean, we are, are we not the most generous people? I, I think, I think definitely. <laughs> Definitely the most generous. Um, the water pipes again need to be extended. There's so much to do. There really is. We'll keep again the water pipe in the main corridor rather than through the cells. Um, lots and lots of little pipes here. As I said, do, do the water, does it run out at some point? Is that one pump going to be enough for the entire prison or are we going to have to at some point get a second pump in? I actually don't know. I'm not sure at all. I guess we'll find out eventually. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to quickly go to deployment and I'm going to say minimum security only for you. There we go, minimum security only. And we're going to go to the grant, uh, the intake, and we're going to say we are open, open for business for minimum security. Now hopefully the game should know, it should know to dilly and, and divide up what we need, um, but I'm sure we'll see if that doesn't work for us fairly soon. Uh, let me just quickly delete this wall there. 
like that. Fantastic. Um, and actually, we, we could do with a few more staff patrols in the areas that we built last episode. We've got lots of cells here, and you can see uh, guard patrols, for instance. We've got a guard patrol sort of around those cells there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually extend this patrol to here, like that. I'm going to add another guard or two onto it, like so. Uh, and dog patrols. Do we actually have any spare dogs? How many dogs have we got? Let's have a look. We'll have a look. If we go into the staff, you can see. Oh, there's one actually asleep in his pen. Oh, God, these dogs, they're so cute, aren't they? Look at them. Look at them. We'll get two more dogs. I'm going to need a few more eventually. Um, and we'll go deployment. Dog patrols. And we'll have a second dog on patrol. Fantastic. Um, okay. Well, I mean, everything seems to be ticking along quite nicely, really. That dormitory is finished. Um, for some reason, they seem to have put... It seems to sort of come along in, in, in sort of chunks, actually. It's quite unusual, that. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Brick wall. Yeah, we need to actually put the internal walls in, don't we? So let's do that quickly. We're going to demolish these walls with high priority. Uh, control left, there we go, like that. Uh, and then these brick walls in there. You know, we're sort of making everything out of brick. It's a very European feel, this. Um, I don't know, European feel, maybe? I mean, I, I, when I grew up in, in sort of rural Norfolk, everything's made out of brick. There's very little sort of other building material than brick. So I guess I'm just used to seeing things out of brick. So when I keep saying, oh, the British approach, maybe it's not. I, I, I don't actually know. I've never really thought about it. But for me, definitely. Um, that just seems to be how everything is. Um, maybe, maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, we've got concrete tiles. We'll sort of, again, we'll build a path around the yard like so. We'll have a sort of workout bit there for people to do their workabouts. And we'll have a sort of round the perimeter here of concrete like so. And then we'll have the rest made of grass. Yep. Perfect. We'll have another gardener. We'll have one more gardener. Fantastic. Uh, we've now got two of them. That should be plenty, I would think. Um, have we actually got more prisoners in? And they're coming. No, they're not. They're not arriving for another four hours. That's fine. And then rooms. What we'll do is we'll have this as a second yard. Where is it? You know what? I could just start typing it in here. There we go. That's a bit easier, isn't it? Um, yard here and here. Fantastic. Right. Get rid of that. Uh, what do we need in the yard? Well, we're going to need some lights. Definitely need some lights. So we'll go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And then we'll have some down here. It's going to be a little bit jaggedy, I know, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. Um, that's all done nicely. Actually, did I delete over my concrete tiles? I think I did, didn't I, with that grass? Oh, how stupid. How stupid. You know what? You know what? No, we'll have a we'll have a grass yard. No, no, I do I need some concrete. We need some concrete. Come on, it's prison after all. Um have that down there. Like that. Look at that concrete up. There we go. Beautiful. We're also gonna have some objects, we're gonna have some weights benches, uh, like that. Have a few here. A few there, a few there, a few there. Good, good, good. Uh, what we're also going to have to do is we're going to have to put some phone booths in. Remember, we want we want everyone to be nice and happy. If we're going to say people have got to be in the yard, uh, that's fine. We'll sort of put those in. We're going to have some showers in as well uh, so that they can shower if they need to. If it's a nice hot day, we can help them out. Um, and we're also going to have some public toilets outside as well, uh, just along this wall in case they need some public toilet time. You know, you can't say I don't care, you know? Um, right, so we've got the... We need a water pipe coming down this way. Then, so. And then small pipes all along there, and small pipes all along there. Good, good, good. That is a functioning yard, if ever I saw one. Um, these dormitories, are they, are they finished? That should be more than that, surely. Maximum safe capacity, minimum security. Why is that not? Why is that not as much? Is one of these dormitories not yet finished? Maybe. One thing I do know is we don't have any guard deployments in here, so hang on, let's just stick a 
guard that came with that, and we'll stick one. We shouldn't need too many guards, to be honest, in uh, minimum security. I'm hoping. Anyway, um, I thought, I thought these dormitories could have four each. Maybe do we not have the doors put in? Hang on, we'll wait for a guard to come in, and I'm sure, I'm sure they'll tell us. Oh, hello. Um, actually, we need to get rid of two walls here. Uh, hang on, you guys are using the other yard. No, 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 no. What makes you think? What makes you think that that is an acceptable thing to do? Hang on, we're gonna say minimum security only yard. Sorry, out you go. There you go, minimum security only in these areas. I am so sorry, but out you get. You use your yard over here, misters. Blimey, the cheek. Actually, you know what? I haven't got any phone booths in the other yard. That's, I, I quite like actually having phone booths in another yard. It sort of it gives them a chance to call home. Um, just keeps them happy, really. And then actually, we're really going to put some toilets down here as well. I, I quite like the multitasking aspect of that. Um, small pipe. Yeah, actually, you will have a large pipe coming here. And we'll have the small pipes there. Beautiful. That, that's perfect. There you go. That yard is, is plenty good. Um, oh no, minimum security prisoners aren't being rumbled, are they? I hope not. I mean, come on, you've, you've barely been at the jail. Um, why, okay, why, why is this not, why is this not maximum capacity dormitories? We should all, we should all host four. I swear we should all host four. At the moment they all host three. Why is that? Why is that? I don't know. Don't know. Quick build. Shared cell. They put, look, they've definitely got two beds in there, right? Two bunk beds, and each bunk bed has two people in it. Am I just missing something here? Maybe. Maybe if I go to rooms? They'll tell me there if I go dormitory? Uh, hang on. Variable size rooms for housing multiple prisoners. The bigger the dormitory, the more prisoners it can house. Maybe it's because the geometry is not big enough. Mm, maybe. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. Well, we'll keep with this build just for now. Um, I am going to have to extend a little bit, aren't I? But for now, what we, we do need uh, the kitchen sort of installed. Uh, so let's just do this quickly. Um, we'll get the second block in. Uh, canteen is going to be here. The kitchen is going to be there. And we're going to have storage. Where is storage? Here. Storage is going to be in this room. Yeah, I don't know what this is going to be. This this is sort of unknown at this precise moment. Uh, staff, actually, yes, this is a good idea. I've just seen the staff member going there. We need at least a guard member in each of these. So now, splendid. Uh, and the canteen. Now, if you remember, we, we should have we should have done this perfectly, right? So we've got plenty of room in this huge canteen. Uh, we'll go table. So the table should be here and here, right? And we should just be able to go down in threes, like so. And there should be just like a perfect amount of space. Benches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That, that should be it. That should be right on cue I think. Um, we do however need serving tables as well which I probably haven't thought about. Uh, we'll get a serving table in there. Um, actually we could do another serving table here. You know what I'm going to move the door. The, the door is going to be moved um, to here. Um, the door will be moved to that and then I can actually move over the serving table. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know what? I'll leave that door in there. If it works, it works. Uh, oh, actually, no, no, it's gonna, it's gonna really annoy me. Hang on. We'll dismantle object. Yeah, good. And then we'll put a wall in there. Yep. Dismantle the door. All nice. Done. Good. Wall in there. Fantastic. Right. The kitchen is the next job. Uh, if you remember, kitchen needs cooker, fridges, and sinks. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the cookers, one, two, three, four, and then what we'll do is we'll also have five, six cookers. I think that's going to be plenty. Um, we're going to have a sinks. Um, we'll have, we need a few sinks actually, don't we? We'll have one, two, 
and then fridges. We'll have only one fridge in here for now. What we will do is we'll have fridges in storage. One, two, three, four. Insufficient funds. Oh no, we are completely out of funds. Oh dear. That's not good. Uh, I completely missed that. You guys have probably been screaming at me. Um, but never mind. Uh, actually, we should we should get more funds. Our daily cash flow is insanely positive at the moment. Um, and actually, we should be able to get... Uh, can we get some sort of loan? I swear loans are a thing, right? Sell shares in the prison? Oh, we could sell shares in the prison. Fair enough, that could give us a ton of money. Or we could trade in our prison for 270000 Wow, that's a lot of money. We, considering we started with a 50 grand grant, we've now got a prison worth 270 grand. That's, that's incredible. That's really cool. Um, but that's not entirely what we need. Current bank loan. Yeah, we might have to borrow some money thinking about it. Or or finish one of these. How, how close are we to, to finishing prison education? Have we had any pass? We must have had some people pass it, right? You'd think. What's going on in here? Why is, why is everything still broken? I don't know what's... Uh, yeah, it's all still very broken in here, isn't it? Oh, there's, there's so much to do. Like, focus, focus. How many people have passed the course? How do we tell that? We'll go on to edit schedule. Will that tell us? No. Um, classroom. When do the classes happen? We've got some classes coming in fairly soon. No, oh, no, it's about to come tonight. No classes soon. I wish there was a way to tell. I really do wish there was a way to tell. Um, hmm. Not sure. Not sure at all. We do need a small pipe there. Um, you know what? These kitchens, these kitchens are ample for now. No, they're, they're plenty big, plenty big. Um, electrical cable, just one there, and one there. We're gonna have to find ourselves being very, very uh, conservative with the amount of pipe work we put down. I mean, look, that's 150, and we've only got 430 money. Oh dear, this isn't great. Eight, oh no, <laughs> eight, eight, eight dollars again. Right, quickly, we stick that in there, stick that in there. Right, that's fine, we should have, we should have plenty. We should have plenty. I think we're going to be all right. I think we are just about going to be all right. The agonizing thing is that we are only uh, five potential prisoners away from getting a 20 grand grant from uh, Sail Block Seed. We don't have the money to do that. I think we are going to have to take a bank loan. There we go. Bank loan 500. We'll build it all the way to 2,500. There we go. Apparently that increases my credit rating doing that and I should borrow more later. So you know what? That might not be a bad move in the long run. Um, let's just think of the planning quickly. If we just keep building these cells up this way for now, um, we'll have, uh, what was it, one... So the, the planning was here, and then there was a door, and then there was one, and then it was like that, wasn't there? I see, right, fine. We've got another easy space for two. Um, and to be honest, at this precise moment, that is going to be absolutely plenty. We don't need any more than that. In fact, we can't actually afford any more than that. Is that, are we gonna, is that, oh, we can afford that. Fantastic, right, brilliant. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have that dealt with as a matter of priority, fingers crossed. Um, and actually what we're going to do, these dormitories are being used, I think, aren't they? Are they? No, minimum security is still sort of arriving. Fair enough, well, where are the minimum security prisons? Are they all here? They're all in there. Why are they all there? Are you, are you not, like... Are you, why, why are you not using your dormitories? What have I done wrong? Minimum security only. That's right, isn't it? These guys are minimum security. Why are you not going through? What's wrong with you, Griffin? Come on, Griffin. Four years for possession, intent to supply minimum security. Oh, I can actually make these guys... <laughs> I can make them into normal and, and maximum security. I like that. That's quite cool. Um, oh, it's because they probably have to move through areas that are sort of minimum. Do they? Can yeah, look, they're stuck. They're stuck in maximum security. So hang on, hang on. I can fix this. I can fix that. That is just a jail door away from being fixed, right? If I stick one here... And I get that as a matter of priority. Put in. Pick. 
Yeah, there we go. Worker's coming. He's on his way. Come on, chop chop. Oh, he's ages away. Absolutely ages away. He's like the other side of the prison. He is literally the other side of the prison. Oh, God. Run. But anyway, that, that door should mean that the people can come through uh, this sort of wing and not get in the way of maximum security. Fingers crossed, anyway. I, I don't know if that's sort of how it'll work. Um, quickly, we are going to demolish these walls here. Um, and we'll have the quick build shared cell blueprint popped in here. There we go. Insufficient funds again. Oh dear, that's not good, is it? Um, how, many, how much do I need for this? Too much. It won't even tell me. It won't even give me the good grace to tell me how much I need. Fair enough. Um, we'll just have to live with that, won't we? Oh, this is this is hilarious. Just how unable these guys are at getting in and out of the place. Hang on, if I put a staff door in here, as a matter of priority. Yeah, there we go. Stick a staff door in, and then now you can get in and out. You see, look, fantastic. I'm, I can't say I don't think of everything. We can get in and out there. Brilliant. That should be plenty for now. Can I get another bank loan? No, my credit rating is 1.7 now. Look at that. We're sort of getting through it. Um. Hmm. How come my money's gone down so drastically? Exports. Corporation tax. I swear there's like a big deal. A big, something, a big expense has come out. Guard wages? We haven't hired any more guards. Workman wages? Maybe. I don't know. It's difficult to say really, isn't it? Oh, do you pay for water? That's a good thing. Do you pay for water and electricity? Rates. No, you don't, do they? Fair enough. Now you know. How's my electricity doing? That's not going to explode. That's not going to explode. For now, we're good. Splendid. Um, more prisoners have just arrived. Good. That should help the old income quite nicely. Wow. I, we, we really are. This prison is beginning to really tick along now. I'm, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm sort of relatively happy with how this is going. Um, we need a lot more cooking. I mean, we, we're cooking as much as we can at the moment. But this is really... I mean, everything is still very broken. Very, very broken indeed. Electrical cable. This... This is just not wired up for whatever reason. I'll stick some wires in there and see if that helps. Um, I, that, that too. Why are you not dismantled dumper? That's broken, that's why. Hmm, there's a lot to do. I think we're going to call it a day here. I mean, I'm sort of, you know when you've been playing a game for a little while and you sort of, you keep bouncing off various ideas and you can't actually settle on the most important thing to do. So for now, we're going to we're gonna hold it there. Thank you very much for watching. It's been great to have you guys around as ever. Um, what I'm going to do is next time we'll come back and we'll finish off cell block C and we'll see if we can get some paroles going. I think paroles are going to be the next way to go. So until then, thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!